The legal structure of a self-directed IRA is actually very similar to just a regular IRA. Your IRA is typically held in a custodian account, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, or wherever it might be, but those options are limited in what you can invest in. By moving your funds to a new custodian that allows for a more self-directed opportunity, you're able to actually invest those funds into wherever you choose and direct that at your choosing. Now, sometimes you're actually able to have your financial advisor direct those for you within the current ecosystem of wherever they're working, such as at a potentially a Fidelity or a Charles Schwab or some company like that. Some of those companies do now offer self-directed IRAs. Now, there is a more unique transaction called a self-directed IRA LLC. What you do there is you take your IRA funds, form an LLC, the IRA becomes the sole member and investor in that LLC, and then you become the personal managing member of that LLC, where you simply tell the LLC where it wants to invest the funds from the IRA, and you have the best IRA, you have the IRA's interest at heart. Now, because you're the manager of that LLC and it's your own retirement funds, you cannot personally make any money off of that investment, but you can ensure that the profits roll back into the IRA. So there's two types of structures, a regular self-directed IRA that might involve a financial advisor and a self-directed IRA LLC, which involves a legal structure that allows you to control the investment direction and have checkbook control over what you want to accomplish.